Alright, even faster this time. Quickly, we must, uh, must, uh, review basically what, uh, the note values were last time. Remember, we, we gave these, these, uh, five symbols. There are more, but, you know, especially with the 16th note, right, you just keep adding another tail for a 32nd note, another tail for 64th. Anyways, so, you also, not only do you have, uh, duration and sound, well, what if there was no sound, and then you continued on with the sound later on? Well, you have a period of silence, right? To represent this period of silence, you have what are known as rests. Now, it's a similar sort of setup. You have the same whole, half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, etc., just representing duration of the bar or of the uh, of the um, uh, of uh, the rhythm. But there are just different symbols. So I'm just going to show you the symbols really quickly. Here we go. Right. Uh, oh yeah. So let's just. Uh, duration of silence yeah okay so again this is the whole looks like just a upside down hat uh, or right side up depending on your preference uh, this is a this is a half quarter uh, eighth and sixteenth, right? Um, again, if you break that down, you can have a little uh, little uh, graphic right here. Oh, look at that! How convenient. So again, you start with your whole note. You have one whole note. Break that down into two half notes. Each of those half notes have, again, two quarter notes. So total, there's four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Break that down into half. Each of them get their split. You have eight eighth note rests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rests. Break that down into half again, and you find yourself with 16 16th note rests and it's really as simple as that